four games to go and we are top of the table. Today is going to go a long way to finding out if we're going to be champions of Portugal for the first time. Are you ready? I'm not. I'm not. Because we're only on top via goal difference to Braga, but every team now has played the same amount of games in the league. So there is no more all game in hand here. Oh, what if they win there? This is now literally a straight shootout between the big four. Us, Braga, Benfica and Porto. Today, we play Braga and Benfica. Braga away, Benfica at home. It could not be any more tense than I am right now. The annoying thing is that we could and probably should be actually further ahead than we are. Three points to be exact because since the last time we met, uh, we lost to United 1-0 in the Champions League, but we knew about that. But then we've been on a very good run. We won five out of six. The annoying result came against Ferenze. Not the original Ferenze that pissed me off, but this lot. And you can tell here, not particularly happy about that. Klozek missed a penalty. That wasn't good. 17 shots, 5 on target. Not good enough. But an XG of 2.4 to an XG of 0.43? You can see why I'm a little bit annoyed. But we did bounce back and beat Rio Ave 4-0. And we also beat Morenze 2-1. I don't know why I pronounce it as if it's Italian. But like I said then, today is all about the two big games here. And we could look at the run-in. But it'll probably be after this game. We'll have a look at the run-in of the two clubs. We are the only game today against Braga. So if a result here... Doesn't go our way, we open the door to Porto and Benfica as well as Braga. Basically, from here on in, we need to be essentially faultless. And I have issues. Well, we all know that. And those issues are Pedro Porro currently has a tight hamstring. But even more worryingly is that Yemon is suspended for the next match because he's picked up too many yellows. But the big, big bad news is that Pedro Nuno is out for another two weeks, which is not ideal because this guy has been in scintillating form. Uh, you can tell now he's arguably the most important player in the team. He has played at 7.62 in his last five games, at 7.43 overall. He is our highest average rated player. He's been absolutely incredible, and we are missing him for two of the biggest games of the season, which is not ideal. But with that in mind, then Farinas is in goal. Mendes, Garcia, Charisma, and Poro make up the back four. I am going to risk Poro because I don't really have much of a choice. Uh, Polina, Ugarte, and Consalves are in the middle, as always. Slozex on the left, Santos is on the right, and Troy Parrott is leading the line up front. Parrott's been in very good form, actually, to be fair, recently, which is the reason why he's in there. Patrick Catrone is nearly back to full match fitness. Uh, expect him maybe to play in the Benfica game, but not in this one. Obviously, the important thing is to stop the two Horters, Andre and Ricardo. They're both fantastic. Ryan Gold's also having a very good season. They've got great talent all over the pitch. They're managed by Carlos Carvajal, which is a name I'm sure will be familiar to a few of you. Old Swansea manager. Yeah, apparently he's actually quite good. Who knew? we got Polina up front. Galino's also a pain in the arse. Oscar's a little bit further back. We sh I don't know. I don't know what way this game's going to go. I don't know if we're going to be amazing or if we're going to be terrible. Away from home, I'm always a little bit concerned. But we can only do what we can do. We can only control what we can control. And we can only control how well we perform in this game. So come on, boys. Let's make a good start. And that is from Nuno Santos. He plays into Troy Parrott. And Troy Parrott's hit the bar. Post, Mike. Post, not bar. And then it hit the goalkeeper's arse and nearly went in. I can't believe that hasn't gone in. What a start that would have been. That would have been perfect. Could have set us up on the counter. We could have done so many things from that position if we just finished that. Oh, Troy. Porro throws the ball and Nuno Santos flicks it on. Caldi Roller heads it out, but Santos on the ball. He's already got himself a yellow, which is a bit worrying, but we're all over them here. Garcia to Elgarte. Back to Eric Garcia. Lovely ball. Mendes. Lozek into Nuno Santos. He hits it. It's hit the post again. Oh, we're getting so cluttered. Don't do this. Not one of those. Not today. What do we say to the god of goals? Not today. Clearly. Well, for all the fact that they've obviously had more shots and targets and stuff, we're the team that have actually hit the post twice today and that the most threatening. It's just not quite our side at the moment. The luck isn't really with us. God, Salvas again is just disappearing in this big game, playing at 6.4. It's up to 6.5 now. Neil nil at the break. We've been the better team. We over our after what happened last time. Go and get your revenge. What happened last time? Oh, yeah, we lost in the cup final, didn't we? 
I should have used that maybe as motivation. Right, okay, 57 minutes in. It's not been his day. Troy Parrott comes off. On comes Sporar. He's been in slightly better form. He's a little bit more clinical. He's been there. He's been in the big games and scored goals for me before. Do I take Gonsalves off? He's come up with big goals this year, though, Gonsalves. I daren't take him off just for the time being. The midfield is actually playing quite well today in a big game, which is unusual. Oh, here we go. Ezgiel to Oscar to Andre Hort. I can sense it already, can't you? Galino on the ball. Don't foul him. He got the ball. Ref's given a penalty. This isn't going to be overturned, is it? I'm going to be fuming if this isn't overturned. Are you kidding me? Even the commentator said that's surprising. Bollocks. Come on, Farinez. Justice has been served. Get in, Farinez. Good error out. Would I take a draw? really enough is it it's not really enough especially when you've had as many good chances as we have is it really enough do i really go for it here do i really put the cat amongst the pigeons and go for it do i need to win or do i rely on the fact that we have to beat benfica i'm taking hlozek off he's been really good but he's tired saka's coming on if ever there was a time, Bakayo, to show why you are one of the best wonder kids on the game, it's now. Goncalves is coming off. Seb's coming on. Going to swap him with Agate. And I'm actually going to let Agate go a little bit further forward. Going to get him on advanced playmaker attack. Let him just try and get into that box. If there's one guy who can pick up on a loose ball and smack it into the far corner, it's him. Good header by Gossett. I was going to say it's a good header by Gossett. Galino's done Nuno Mendes. Galino, don't foul him again. Great tackle, Nuno Mendes. Awful ball out, though. They're applying pressure in these last few minutes. Can so we just win the ball back? High up the pitch, please. Yes, Nuno. Saka. This is it. Bakayo. Fred it. Bakayo. Penalty. Penalty. It's not a penalty. He's not going to give that. He's never going to give that. This is going to be not a penalty, but it should be. Considering the one that he gave up the other end, this should be a pen. If there's justice, it's a pen. Of course not. Of course not. We've been absolutely screwed over here. The only reason it's bloody 1-0-0 is because of Farinez. Nuno Mendes takes him down for a tackle. Oh, piss off. Galino's a diving little sh. This is worrying, worrying. 20 seconds left. Horta whips it in. Oh, well played, Farinez. A 0-0. It keeps us ahead of them in terms of the fact that our head-to-head -head record is better for us. But that feels like an opportunity missed. We should have finished that game off. I guess I'm happy with the performance. We did we play we outplayed them. There's no they came into it in like the last twenty minutes. That's not great though. Really. In the in the in respect of the actual title race, that's not great. It puts us three points out of Porto, and I suppose it depends on what happens to Porto. Because if we beat Benfica, it's all completely in our own hands. Benfica won four one. They're still unbeaten Benfica. If we lose the season because of an undefeated record. That's ridiculous. Mind you, we're playing them next, so if we if anyone's gonna have a chance of beating them, it's us. Rio Ave are playing Porto. Every game now is important. Like literally every single game now is important. Porto win, but they don't go ahead of us, so that is crucial. The top four are separated by one point. By one one point. One point. I don't believe it. One point. Okay, another big game. The Maritima are, are playing Braga. Can they do us a favour, please? Someone's got to drop points at first. Braga drop points. Okay, good. So Braga played a game more, and they've lost. Excellent. Okay, that's a good start. This game against Benfica is absolutely massive. Porto playing more Morenze. They're not going to lose that. Garda admits lacking respect for Munch. Wow. Suddenly, you not see much Mr. Nice Guy. Pressure's getting to someone, clearly. We've actually got a very decent record against Benfica, to be fair. Apparently, I've been unbeaten against them in my last four appearances against them. So, that Porto drop points. The Oh, they equalised in the last minute. It's all happening here. This could genuinely be a winner-takes-everything game. Oh, my God. I don't need this. Oh, I don't need this in my life. Oh, it's perfectly set up for a bowl job. No, no. Deep breaths. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So a couple of changes then. Yearmon comes in for Eric Garcia. So we're back with our established centre-back partnership. And Spora replaces Troy Parrott, who had the chances in that game. He had the chances. I gave him his chance, and he missed them both. So can't argue with it. It is only fair. 
Right, that we got to watch out for a lot of their players. Nunes, Corley, PZ, Pedrinho. I mean, they've got loads. They've got an old um, Premier League duo there at the back in Ottomani and Vertonghen. Unbelievable. What a team that is for where we are. I'm going to say great opportunity for the pun to show why the pundits have backed us up. Oh, my God. Polini is aggressive. That's the last thing I need. He's already got more yellows than anyone else in the league. But apparently he looked aggressive. That can't be good. Right. Come on, then. <sighs> I don't care how we get this win. Let's just get it. They're unbeaten in the whole season. This might be the last chance to stop Benfica having an invincible season. That, if anything, is more of an incentive. Just as my green screen might be going through my jumper, so I'm sorry if that's been the case. This is not good. Darwin Nunes doesn't miss. Oh, are you I'm going to be losing because the team's decided they're going to have an invincible season. Are you absolutely kidding me? Are you kidding me? I can't get any luck on this. Nuno Santos whoops it. Come on, let's respond quickly. Or we could just let Nunes run past their own. Great tackle, Nuno Mendes. Well done, mate, for actually doing something. Pedrinho on the ball. Back to Salcedo. This is worrying. Agata, great tackle. Come on, boys. Bounce back. Plozek, go on, mate. You've got the pace. Brilliant from Plozek. Brilliant. Pen. Absolute pen. Oh, my God. I've slapped my... Oh, my God. How's that not a pen? I've slapped the mic. I don't know what's going on. PZ to Padrino. Don't you dare let them score from this. Because that was definitely a penalty. If they score from this, this is absolute bollocks. Absolute bollocks. Here it comes. Grimaldo to Gabriel. Whips it in. Weigel. Salcedo. Nearly. I mean, how is that not a penalty up the other end? How is that not a penalty? Total bull bollocks. Darwin. How the hell am I meant to stop this guy? Come on, lads. What are you playing at? The midfield, whenever we play, bloody Benfica just disappears. Polina's been awful. Pedro's been awful. Spar's been a passenger. I'm absolutely seething. What a time to throw in a piss-poor performance. You better believe water bottles are being thrown. Come on, lads. Do you want to win this or not? Get Polina off. Waste of my time. Get off. Cutrone's coming on. He's going up front with Sparart. Right, Cutrone. Uh, go complete forward, mate. On attack. And oh, do, what do I do with Goncalves? Do I do anything with him? No, we're going to go for it. 4 4 2. Let's just go for him. Let's just go for him. It's annoying because Peasy's going to be completely free in the middle. And th this. That. I love it when they score from a set piece. Every time I play Benfica, they score from a set piece. Title's over. What a load of shite. What a load of shite. What a load of bloody bottle jobs. Vigil to Vertonghen. Absolute bollocks. I should have known from the last game we weren't going to win anything because we hit the post twice. Closet's going up front with Coutrone because why not? Why not? He's quick. Why not? Cannot believe what I've seen here. What What a bunch of melts. Ball at the top from Saka into Coutrone. Please finish. Coutrone. Great finish, Paddy. Come on. It's not over. Go get the ball. Stop celebrating. Go and get the ball, mate. Brilliant here from Saka. He just hits a long ball over the top. Cutrone, great movement off of his man. He's got the pace to get away from the kind of tiring old blokes at the back. Right, we needed that. An instant bounce back. Come on. Corley to Vigot. Go on, nick the ball off him. Or you could just stand there and let him pass it all the way through. Great save by Farinez. I mean, they can literally cut through me whenever they feel like it. I can understand that now that I'm playing 4-4-2 in all fairness. But still... We've had more shots. XG is nearly as high as theirs is. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? I think it's time, actually. I'm going to really, really go for it. So we're going to go fully attacking now. The wing backs are going to push up as well. We might as well go for it. Let, let them leave their blokes up. Let them leave them up. We're going for it. Let's do that. Uh, go... Gone Calvert. Oh, I can't really afford to take any of them off. But I'll push the wing backs up. We're probably going to get caught, but this is literally squeaky bum time. This is where you need to make chances and you need to be a little bit gung ho, for lack of a better phrase. Right, here we go. Look how high up the pitch we're pushed now. Come on, push onto him. Yes! Saka's won the ball back. Saka, duh. Saka, Bakayo! game hates me this game absolutely hates me that's three times today we've hit the woodwork come on nuno on someone's bonds closet where is it penalty is he giving it is it a hand they're, they're absolutely adamant it's not surely no way penalty is given 
Oh, no, who's taking it? Hlozek. Oh, God. He missed his last one. Hlozek, please score. Hlozek. <laughs> it's the post. This game absolutely hates me. Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? I've been absolutely robbed. I've been robbed dry here. This is pathetic. That's poor. In every in every respect of, what, of it, that's poor. At least try and hide the fact you're shafting me as Hasek like, finishes it. But of course he's offside because, you know, why wouldn't we be on a day like today? I know that I'm famous for a bit of a bottle job. I say famous. We all know that I'm prone to a bottle job. There is nothing more I could have done today. This has been pretty. This is just. There's unfortunate. And then there's what's happened today. I count that we've hit the post four times, five times today. Missed a penalty. I'm sorry. I, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I, I could not have done any more today. Are we going to at least equalise? Going Cavus to Catrone. Oh my god, we've equalised in the last minute. It's 2 2. It's not over. It's not going to be enough. We needed to win, and if Fosic had scored that penalty. I mean, it's brilliant character to come back, but the likelihood of Benfica dropping points between now and the end of the season. Patrick Catrone, God, how I've missed you. What a man. What a finish. 2-2. Two, two. two draws from two massive games. I mean, the comeback's incredible. Let's be fair here. We were terrible for the rest of it. But second half of that game, we were absolutely outstanding. And we should have won that game. And I've been, I've been shafted twice. We should have won the Braga game. And we probably should have won that game as well. Oh my god, Benfica play Porto on the final day of the season. Maybe it's not over. Benfica away at Porto, final day of the season. Oh my god, I can't... I thought it was over because I thought they'd done all the hard fixtures. Porto aren't going to want Benfica to have an unbeaten season. That's a massive game. They can still obviously win at Porto as well. Look how tight this is. Look at it. There's one goal separating us and Porto. One point, there. I mean, this is ridiculous. The big winners in all this, really, are Braga, because you thought they would be out of it, but really, they're not either. All four of us could still win it. This is the most dramatic, most amazing finale to a season I can actually remember. Unbelievable. And we're, obviously, we're not going to play any more games off the of camera, are we? We're going to come back for the final two of the, the league season against Madeira and Ferreira, two games you would expect us to win whether we will or not as another matter entirely but the character we showed to come back from 2-0 down in that game that fills me with a lot of confidence a lot of confidence well you're not going to want to miss the next episode are you come back tomorrow where it will be the season finale at least in the leagues obviously we've got a cup final to play as well but who's your bunny on let me know was i shafted today let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching the episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, of course, then please do like, share, and subscribe. And until I see you again, try and relax. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's take all. I'm so excited and terrified at the same time.